okay uh, hello uh, my name is Nelson and uh, in this today's video we are going to look at uh, the different questions uh, that we are able to uh, that we are not able to complete uh, in our session uh, because in this lesson we are able to look at uh, finding out square roots of numbers uh, using different methods where we talked about uh, a ladder method we also talked about um, a tree factor method <coughs> and also talked about um, a multiplying a number by itself uh, for you to get the square root of that number so let's get started and we look at uh, the numbers that we are remaining with okay let's look at those numbers we are remaining with okay uh, yes, uh, we are able to look at uh, uh, these numbers. We are able to look at uh, these numbers. Let me get a pen here. Let me get a pen here. All right. Uh, we are able to solve our number one, which is here, uh, in our activity one, because we have uh, several activities that we have to try. So we are able to solve our number one, which, which just only wanted us to find uh, the squares of numbers. Please, when they talk about uh, squares of numbers, uh, they mean squares of numbers. They are totally different from saying find the square root. Okay, uh, that's why they are able to say in our in our number two, they say I uh, find uh, now the square root of what of numbers below using prime factorization. So uh, as we have been, as we have been saying that we are, we try out a variety of methods uh, to find uh, these uh, square numbers. Okay, so these are already square numbers, but they want us to find uh, how were they able to uh, become square numbers. So that's what we are going to be dealing with today uh, in this lesson. So we are going to try one by one. Our question, our question A is uh, we want to find out the square root of uh, 64. The square root of uh, 64. That's what that's what we want to try out. And we are going to use. Um, okay, let's just use this. Uh, let's just rub out. Uh, let's rub out our things here. Okay. Okay, this has been saved. Let's look out for a, a free space uh, where we can be able to solve our numbers from. Our free space, our free space. Okay, let's look for a free space. All right, we can be able now to use this space of ours. Uh, like here, they are able to say, uh, we are going to use this free space. I will have our, um, okay, 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 okay. Uh, we are going to try our number, which is A, our number A. Uh, they had given us our 64 and they wanted us to find the square root uh, they wanted us to find the square root of this uh, number uh, they want us to find the what uh, to find the square root okay Right, uh, we are looking out for where to work upon our things. We are saying that we want to use out uh, uh, these numbers of ours. Uh, we have our 64 here. Then we want to find out how were they able to come up with a 64 because they just want us to. Uh, to get the square root and we said for us to be able to get a square root uh, this is just a number that has been multiplied by itself uh, this is a number that has been multiplied by itself so we want to look out to uh, which number 
which number which number was multiplied by itself uh, for us to come up with okay which number was multiplied by itself to come up with our uh, our 64 Okay, let me try to sort out my pen here. Okay, so we can start from here. Uh, we said uh, uh, a square root uh, is a number uh, is equal to number uh, multiplied multiplied uh, we say by itself okay so that's how we get uh, our square root but now here they want us to use uh, factorization then if you are to use factorization we said uh, we bring our 64 uh, then uh, we can either use a ladder method or a tree factor method we just divide it, divide it by 2 this gives us our 32 also divide it by 2 it gives us our uh, 16 I will also divide our 16 by 2 it's going to give us what our 8 uh, then we also still divide our 8 by 2 this is going to give us 4 uh, we shall also still use our 2 it's going to give us 2 also now here we can still get our one so this simply mean that using uh, a multiplication form uh, multiplication form we shall be having our two one our two two uh, two three then two four then two five then uh, two six so this simply mean that in a set notation we can write it in a set notation which is this form and we also can write it in a multiplication form which is going to be our two times two how many times there are six times times two times two times two and then this is going to be our what our multiplication form we said we give uh, these sets of ours uh, we combine them into what? Into sets. You say this is one, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so these were how many? They were six. Uh, we are missing out another two here. So when you give them sets, uh, they form out how many? Three sets. So we said we pick only one in each set. So when you pick, let me say this two. Now we can come and say our two here. I also pick another two here. We say times two. We also pick another two here. We say times what? Times two. Okay, so now these are three sets that we have been able to pick. So now we make a multiplication of this. It is going to be a four then times. Uh, 4 times 2. So this gives us our answers 8. So this simply means that uh, the square root the square root of uh, of 64 will be equal to 8. Uh, in simple term we multiply our 8 times 2 our 8 times 8 we shall be able to come up with a 64. So this makes it to qualify to be our what? Our, uh, our square root as you can see it here. Okay. Okay, let me sort out my pen. So in simple term, uh, we can use that method 
uh, for us to find the what our square root using prime factorization so when you are asked to try out such uh, please be able to uh, do so also here we wanted to try out some other numbers and uh, we hope that is going to be in our what uh, that is going to be in our uh, our next our next lesson so for this i do say thank you very much for being part of this i uh, hope you have been able to understand some concept about uh, uh, finding out the square root of a number using uh, prime factorization right uh, to make a recap it's just all about knowing the method of prime factorization and we have uh, looked at these methods in our recent lessons that we have been handling for this i say thank you uh, for being part of this uh, stay blessed i uh, see you in the next lesson